Hello, Planet Piposse. Welcome back to the channel. We have rankings. Yes, rankings are back. First pay per view of the year. So I thought I bring them back. Um. So as some of you guys know, I do have the SmackDown NXT interpromotional contest coming up. So right after the Rumble. So, I will not be doing rankings for that after that show since um, it's only a select few people that are competing that night. So, you guys know how rankings work. Green check mark means you won. Red X means you lost. Um, forehead wrapped around a band-aid means you were injured. Um, Beard means you were drunk and you spent it for a month. And um, a trophy means you are the champion. I forgot to put the police one. The police car meaning just police emoji meaning jail time. The only person that currently is in jail is Charles Robinson. So here we go. We got the SmackDown Titan Championship rankings. Got the Brawling Brutes at a 77. Good Brothers losing. To the New Day at the Rumble. Went up from an 80 to an 80.5. Due to their match of the year candidate. We got the Undisputed Era at 83. And we got the, the, the technically brand new SmackDown Tag Champion. The New Day at an 84. Then we got the. Oops, hold on. Did I forget to... Oh! And then we have the Intercontinental Championship rankings. We got Ridge Holland, the current champion who's injured, at a 68. We have Nathan Ferguson at a 70. We got Carl Anderson, who went from a 79 up to an 80 after the tag title match with New Day. We got Xavier Woods at an 80. Dot Giles at an 81. Bobby Fish at 82, Matt Riddle at 82, Tommaso Ciampa, current Royal Rumble winner at 83, The Miz at 83, Kyle O'Reilly and Grayson Waller at 84. And then we got the WWE World title rankings. We got Mysterio, Lashley, Cole at 85, and injured Pete Dunne at 86, MGF at 87, and injured Will Ospreay at 88, who lost to McIntyre. At the Royal Rumble, along with The Rock, he will be returning in a few weeks' time. Kofi Kingston at an 88, jumping way high, not only because of a tag team win, but it was also rated match of the year. So we got a few points for that. Kenny Omega went down from a 91 to a 90 after his loss to AD Styles in the World Title Match. CM Punk up to a 92 after his victory, huh? What do I have Punk as a winner? What? Oh, yeah! Punk beat Brock Lesnar in the pre-show. All right, all right, yeah. CM Punk defeated Brock Lesnar on the pre-show, and he's at 92. Drew McIntyre, of course, defeated The Rock and Will Ospreay at 92. The new Deadly World Champion AD style went up from a 91 to 92. Edge, who got drunk and is out for a month at a 93. Brock Lesnar losing, losing to CM Punk at 93. The Rock losing and injured in the triple jump match at 93. Will be returning in a few weeks' time. Stone Cold Steve Austin at 94. And the top guy, Roman Reigns, at a 97. And I realized I forgot Seth Rollins. I will be putting him in the rankings. Do not worry for next time. And finally, we have the Women's Championship rankings. Alba Fire at an 80. Sasha Banks at 81. Carmella at an 82. Bianca Belair. Natalia. Rhea Ripley at an 87, Ronda Rousey at a 94, number one ranked. 
Of course, Natalia did win the Women's Championship, giving her the trophy and the green check mark. And everybody else who wasn't that much lost, so obviously they got the X. So yeah, those are the rankings for the Royal Rumble pay-per-view.